Hey guys, how are you doing? So it's been a minute and um, I thought I owed you an explanation for why my giveaway didn't go up when I said it would in my last video and why I've been gone for almost a month. I'm going to try and talk about this without getting too emotional. Uh, if you saw my Instagram post, my cat passed away basically and um, she was 19. Um, and I'd had her since I was uh, a freshman in high school is when I got her. And I'd had her for most of her life. I think she was about six months um, when I got her. And uh, I actually got her uh, as a Christmas present on December 19th, 1999 from my parents. And if you'd like to hear more about kind of the story and background of how I got her, uh, you can check out my Instagram because uh, I kind of go into it in depth. So, like I said, she was 19, and um, she, I think like most senior cats, like, she was starting to decline, and uh, for the last few months anyway, she was under five pounds, so she was very small. I mean, she'd always been kind of a smaller cat, but uh, she was definitely losing weight, and we had a blood panel done in August, and uh, a lot of what you worry about with older cats is... Uh, their kidneys and their thyroid. I think those are two of the most common ailments that they go through. And uh, her kidney levels were fine. Her thyroid was maybe on the high range of being normal. So she passed away on December 6th. So like the week before um, she'd started like basically urinating outside the litter box and um, just given the frequency that she was doing it and everything we we're like well um, we should take her in um, partly to rule out like a UTI or anything like that, um, but just, you know, because it had been three months, um, which isn't a terribly long time, but we wanted to, you know, see what's going on. So um, we did another blood panel and um, like her kidney levels were high. And so um, what the vet recommended, because you can't really treat kidney disease in cats, you can just kind of manage it. Um, and she was a little dehydrated as well. Uh, and a lot of what cats, older cats do is they, um, their urine is dilute because they drink a lot, they pee a lot. Um, it's just kind of, I guess, a function of their kidneys not working as well. So what he recommended, or one thing that he said we could do, was try administering subcutaneous fluids, uh, which isn't, it isn't like an IV, and I apologize if you're squeamish. Um, you can just skip ahead a couple seconds, but uh, basically... It's like sticking a needle, like when you get a TB test done, um, you just kind of stick a needle under their skin and um, administer like electrolytes and that sort of thing um, to try and help hydrate them and uh, kind of flush out like the toxins that the kidneys would normally be filtering. Um, so we tried that for a couple days. He also gave us uh, a medicine that we were supposed to put in our food or actually administer orally um, with food uh, after she'd eaten. Uh, which was supposed to be, I think, a phosphate or phosphorus binder. Um, so we did that a couple days, but between the two days um, that we started doing that, the last day um, that she was with us, um, she basically couldn't stand anymore. And, um, like, she would make, like, kind of a little whimpering noise when she tried to stand. And um, I think that's kind of when we knew that it was time to say goodbye. And, um, yeah, and, and we took her into the vet, and we kind of knew going in, it's like, you know, this is probably going to be the last day we have with her. And uh, what the vet said was um, kidney disease doesn't really put them in pain, but it makes them feel really nauseous and really sick. And they're just not, like, feeling like themselves. And, like, the way that she kind of had her head down between her paws, um, he said that she was probably feeling nauseated. And the night before we like tried to give her some salmon, which is something that she normally went nuts for, just like, you know, salmon filet that we cooked without any spices or anything on it. And she just, she didn't even, wasn't interested in that even. So, um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I told my husband um, at Thanksgiving that I would be surprised if she made it to Christmas and it turns out I was right. Um, she she went a little bit sooner than I thought she was. She really quickly kind of deteriorated within 
like the week, week and a half after Thanksgiving. And like I said in my last video, I was trying to get that giveaway up. I think I said like November 18th. Um, but between traveling with the holidays and um, dealing with um, Mo, um, it just, it didn't really happen. And I, she was my first cat and, um, you know, she'll always be my first cat. And again, I talk, I think in more depth on the Instagram post, but, um, I got her when I was, I think 14, 14 or 15. Uh, and because my dad was in the army when I was younger and moving a lot, uh, getting a cat or a pet wasn't really, uh, feasible. So that year we actually moved um, to a different state, different um, school district and everything. And I think partly because my parents felt bad about kind of removing me from all my friends and, you know, kind of putting me in a new environment. Uh, and because my dad was in a civilian position at that point, uh, they kind of thought, well, we're settled enough. And this cat kind of came into our lives. I think she was actually a stray that... Um, one of my uncles who kind of lived out in rural Wisconsin had come across somehow. So that was kind of how she came into our lives that way. And, um, yeah, so that was, that was Mo. Um, I don't know if you can see right here. So, um, <laughs> it was funny because I was going to, I was thinking about doing Vlogmas. Um, I think I mentioned that in that video as well, but with her, we, I think November 30th was when we took her to the vet for the first time. And then December 6th was when we had to, um, say goodbye. So anyway, so that kind of put an end to the Vlogmas plans. So one of the things I was thinking about doing as part of Vlogmas was showing you how I decorated my tree, which you can see a little bit here behind me. And I actually filmed myself decorating it and I was going to insert it and kind of sped up, um, time elapse footage. And uh, then I was going to kind of give you a Christmas tree tour and kind of, I don't know, just kind of tell you my thought process and how I decorated it. Uh, but the most important part of the decorations, the ornaments that go on my tree is what um, I and my family call the ornament of the year, which um, basically signifies an important event that happened. It can be happy, it can be sad. Uh, it just depends on the year. And, uh, obviously, um, my cat of 19 years passing away was, I guess, the most significant event of the year. It just so happened that it was kind of right before Christmas. And prior to that, I'll show you right here. Uh, this was a stuffed ornament. This is the British Museum. We bought this when we went to London in April. So there wasn't anything super significant that happened um, other than taking a trip um, to visit my husband's family. So this was going to be the ornament of the year, but with Mo passing, I just have it hanging on here with the paper clip because I didn't feel like getting out the, like the tree hooks. Uh, this is from Hallmark and we do get a lot of our, I think they call them keepsake ornaments, but our ornaments of the year are Hallmark ornaments. That's usually the first place I look um, to find an ornament, um, partly just because I think they're good quality. Um, they're pretty easily accessible and uh, they have the years on them. So obviously this is a 2018 and Hallmark does a lot of series. Uh, so one year they'll put out you know, the first in the series and then the next year they'll put out the second year in the series and so on. So I really felt like I had to get this. This is, I think, the Mischievous Kittens series. Hopefully you get the detail on there. So aesthetically, it's not like my favorite design ever, but the first year that, um, you can see there's a little black and white cat that has his little bum sticking out. Uh, but the first year they came out with this series, uh, 1999 uh, was our ornament of the year. Um, that ornament is on my parents' tree because I was still at home and um, that was their ornament for the year as well. Uh, anyway, because the first ornament in this series was the ornament of the year for 1999, the year we got Mo, uh, I felt like I had to get this one um, to, to, I don't want to say celebrate, but to commemorate her passing. Um, so this is the 20th anniversary, actually, in that series. Um, she was 19, but because the first year came out before she was 
a year old, if that makes sense. That is why this is the 20th. So anyway, so we got that one. And uh, some years I actually get more than one ornament of the year. Like sometimes they kind of, it's almost like a grouping or uh, I just find m multiple ornaments that I want to get to mark that event. Um, so I also found this ornament and I will insert a picture of Mo so you can see. She was a really beautiful cat. Uh, so she was a calico and I think I found this, I just googled like calico ornaments and uh, I found this one. I think I actually purchased this one from Amazon. It's from I think Old World Christmas is the name of the brand. It doesn't have a year or anything on it. Uh, but I did want to get a calico ornament because she was a calico and there aren't any calico cats on um, that ornament. And then last but not least, uh, we were in Michael's and we kind of wanted to get an ornament, like a picture ornament, um, to actually put a photo of her in. And uh, this is the frame that we picked out. It's just like a square frame with a little snowflake that says 2018 on it. And uh, this is a square photo. We haven't actually printed or found a picture uh, that we want to include in this. <laughs> I did want to show you actually. So um, I guess to show you how big a part or um, how significant having a cat was to me, uh, she was actually featured in my <laughs> senior pictures in high school and my brother when he had his done I think he had like his guitar and stuff because he played guitar and I wasn't I wasn't a big sports person or anything like that you know a lot of people uh, have pictures of themselves in like their uniforms uh, so anyway uh, <laughs> my my parents actually got a large like wall sized uh, print of this photo that I'm about to show you uh, so I see it every time I go home uh, to visit them. Uh, and we also had had, I guess, some like wallet sized uh, pictures printed off. Anyway, so when I spoke to my mom, I think I texted her to say, you know, we're going to say goodbye to Mo. And I'd said, you know, do you have any of those like wallet sized photos of my senior picture? Because uh, I guess I was thinking about getting a ornament frame that would fit. Um, this is like a rectangular shape instead of a square, but uh, I thought about either getting that or just a little frame that I could put on a desk or something. Uh, but she actually mailed this one to me. I think she'd taken a photo um, and texted it to me, but she also actually mailed this one to me. So uh, this is my senior photo with my cat Mo. Um, so I was 17 in that photo and um, you know, don't judge my, my makeup skills or anything too harshly. That was before YouTube. And um, that's my cat. So she would have been, oh gosh, I don't know, three or four. So um, <laughs> the uh, the photographer just happened to catch her with that pose. Like she, she was not enjoying this photo shoot at all. Like she generally hates to be hated, um, to be taken in her carrier, to go you know, in the car anywhere, basically. And of course, she was in a strange, um, uh, strange studio that she wasn't familiar with. So she was kind of freaking out. And so um, we just happened to get this picture of her just looking dead on the camera and with that kind of expression. And um, when after we'd gotten these photos done, and then we went back to see them, uh, after they I guess done the retouching or whatever like they kind of show you the preview on like a screen you can pick out the ones you want and what prints you want and <laughs> I think it was me and my mom I don't know if my dad was there or not um but it was the kind of thing where as soon as that picture flashed on screen we we're all just like Mo! <laughs> like it was it was just you know and of course my parents then got a huge print because it just kind of captured her and my relationship with her so Anyway, that's a very long-winded way of saying um, I was going through that. Um, I was very worried and stressed out about her and, um, of course, spending ungodly amounts at the vet in terms of time and um, money. <laughs> um, just, you know, making sure that we could do what we could for her without, I mean, we weren't going to do anything crazy because she was 19 and we knew that she didn't have, like, years and years left. 
So, um, you know, and I guess leading up to when she passed and like the weekend after, you know, was kind of bawling my eyes out and everything. But um, I think that was an important part of the grieving process. And um, like my husband and I were both in the room um, when they um, put her to sleep. And um, I'm getting a little teary eyed now, but um, I felt like I was able to say goodbye to her and I knew that she was not feeling well and um, that it was time. Oh, my eyes are super bloodshot. I probably shouldn't have worn um, glitter today, but I felt like trying to do something a little festive. Um, yeah, my eyes like were watering kind of for a week straight, <laughs> um, and they finally kind of stopped. So hopefully, hopefully this doesn't start back up again. But uh, I did try some eye drops that. Uh, What's her name? Lisa SEO9 recommended, and I'm not sure that those, I mean, they definitely whitened my eyes. I'm not sure they were um, great for kind of the long term health of my eyes, but I might try those in a future video. But I just didn't feel like trying it um, today in case they were something that was making my eyes kind of water and be irritated. So, anyway, aside from that minor um, uh, waterworks episode, um, we are starting to adjust. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I'm thankful for the years that I had with her and I loved her and, um, I'm sure she's, she's in a better place, um, now. So, so anyway, so I feel like I got most of my grieving out, but of course, you know, talking through some of <laughs> what happened, it does kind of bring back those emotions. And I will say that, um, we do want to adopt, um, more cats in the future. Um, would probably try to get um, a couple at a time, either a bonded pair or a pair of kittens from the same litter. Um, but I think we're just going to take a little break and um, the apartment that we're in now isn't really well si situated for two cats um, because we only really have space for one litter box and I think with two cats you definitely want to have at least two litter boxes and you know if we have kittens like you know, giving the space or having the space to kind of corral them as needed. Um, it's just not ideal at this point. So maybe next year, if we move, we might adopt. But for now, we're just, you know, taking the time to, um, I don't know, be without a cat. So. Okay, so anyway, time to get on to the giveaway, which I'm finally recording. So I'm going to do three winners. Um, this is to celebrate my, I guess, 1,000 subscriber milestone or, gosh, seven years on YouTube, I think was in August. So however you want to think of this, um, it's a giveaway um, to give back to you guys. So uh, this is the 16th as I'm recording it, and I'm going to try and get it up tonight. And then I think I'm going to pick the winners on December 26th, which is Boxing Day. So I will have all the details down below, tell you how to enter and all that sort of thing. But without further ado, I'm going to show you what the actual giveaway prizes are. And I think the way I'm going to pick the winners, it's going to be a random uh, drawing. Uh, you have to obviously be a subscriber and uh, leave a comment on this video. You can make it whatever you want. You can tell me if you have any pets, what their names are, how old they are, that sort of thing. Uh, you can tell me your favorite holiday tradition, anything you're hoping to get from Santa this Christmas, anything like that. Uh, so it can be whatever you want and you just have to comment on this video before the giveaway closes. So I'm going to assemble a list of all the people who've commented on this video and I will do a first drawing and that will be the first place winner. I'll do it again, that'll be second place and then a third time that'll be the third place winner. Okay. So, in third place, and all of the boxes are going to be shipped um, 
in priority mailboxes. This is the medium flat rate. And uh, the giveaway is open to uh, U.S. Uh, viewers only because of the shipping restrictions when you send nail polish and fragrance and that sort of thing. So for that reason, and I think most of my viewers are in the U.S., if I do eventually have a substantial viewer base internationally, then I'll, I'll try to do a giveaway that includes uh, international viewers as well. So in third place, so all of these giveaway packages that I've assembled, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. Um, so all of them will have a makeup bag and all of them will have a palette. So the palette for the third place, which I've already wrapped up here, this smoky eyeshadow palette from Skin is the makeup brand and it looks like this is sealed, so I'm not going to open it, but uh, I'm sure if you want to see what's inside, you can just Google it. The brand is S-K-I-N-N, -N. so that will be the palette for this one. Uh, I think all of them have a little shower poof. This is from, I guess the brand is Sweet and Shimmer, but from Ulta is where I picked those up. And the makeup bag for this one is this really nice plush kind of like a fuchsia magenta sort of color with a rose gold zipper. So I've packed it full of things here. So I have the glycolic foaming cleanser from Mario Badescu. I don't want to go through everything here because I feel like we'll just be here forever. Uh, there is the makeup setting spray from Urban Decay, the all-nighter one. Um, there are some fragrances. Let's see here. A a uh, couple of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. These are in Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy. I have the, let's see, Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Kristen. There is, let's see, some other samples here. The Sephora Cream Lip Stain, little sample, the red color, the black opium fragrance is in here. There's a mascara, the Audacious Mascara from NARS. Uh, let's see what else, some Tarte Lip Paints, Clinique Mascara, uh, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, uh, lots of little samples. There is the Lori Geller Baked Marble Eyeshadow Duo. Uh, lots of brushes here from e.l.f. that, that I'm including a Redken hairspray. Uh, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Little deluxe sample. Uh, an Ulta $5 off coupon. So I tried to fill these as much as I could um, to fit into the, I guess, is it medium flat rate? And I think the palettes, uh, the grand prize winner, I think, has more kind of full-size products uh, and it has a, a better palette, I would say. Uh, so uh, this was third place. And then second place, uh, again, we have a shower poof, uh, another Redken hairspray. I tried to make these uh, second and third place prizes kind of roughly equivalent. Uh, this is the makeup uh, bag. You can see this one. If you've watched any of my previous hauls, you probably recognize these bags. The contents uh, have changed, so they're not the original uh, products that were in those bags, but uh, if you liked the bag in a previous video, you have a chance to win it. So uh, this is a shiny rose gold metallic and it has a lipstick zipper pull, which is kind of fun. And again, a lot of similar products. Uh, we have the, like the Wet n Wild highlighters again. Uh, there is a Pathology mask, uh, another NARS mascara. Philosophy Purity. Uh, let's see, this is actually the lip color I'm wearing, I believe. This is from Smashbox. Not the same one, I have my own, but uh, I don't know what the name is, to be honest. But anyway, it's a shiny red metallic. It's not budge proof, so, you know, just be aware of that. But anyway, uh, let's see, another Urban Decay All Nighter. Another, this is an Anastasia Brow Wiz sample. More mascaras, a Smashbox duo in Turned On. Uh, this is a Golden Hour eyeshadow duo. So that is what those colors look like. So yeah, more Living Proof. There's a Basquiat Detoxifying Black Cleanser. 
So again, like if there was a lip product in one, I tried to get sort of a similar lip product in the other uh, to try and make them roughly equivalent. Uh, this one has, again, more e.l.f. brushes. And I also have a Real Techniques foundation brush in here. So all these products are brand new. I've never used them. There is the Becca First Light Priming Filter, little sample. And then the main part would be the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. And uh, this was sealed, but I just uh, cut the seal to make sure that the palette wasn't broken because I bought one for myself. And if one of them was smashed, I obviously would have given you the one that wasn't. So uh, Juvia's Place uh, Warrior Palette. So that is prize number two or second place prize. And in first place. All right. So... Uh, this is the makeup bag, so it's this kind of purple glitter, and it just has a black zipper like so. I put this one in the first place, not because I thought it was the prettiest, but I think because it was the biggest, so uh, able to fit more stuff in here. Again, you get another poof. Uh, these are the dual-tipped cotton uh, applicators that I've talked about before. They have a really pointy end, so they're really good at sort of cleaning up eyeshadow or anything like that. Wouldn't put them in your ears. You're not supposed to put them in your ears anyway, but uh, for makeup application use, they're very good. A uh, pair of lashes from BH Cosmetics. I have the Real Techniques Brush Cleansing Palette. This is what I use to clean my brushes. It's really nice because it has a lip on it, so you can kind of leave some soap and water in the bowl uh, so you don't have to I guess waste as much water if you want. So I uh, really like using that. I like it better than the Sigma glove that I had once upon a time. There is the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush. Let's see what else. Uh, there is a full-size Butter London Nail Polish in Come to Bed Red. So nice bright red there. Uh, let's see, there's a Milani Lipstick in Matte Naked 61. I guess that's the shade name. So full size Milani lipstick. And for this one, I think I did take a picture of everything or most everything kind of laid out. So I will insert that if you know that's more helpful to you. There is a sample of the Precisely My Brow pencil in shade number three. Let's see, a sample of the uh, Sephora collection Rouge Creme uh, in the red. So little mini lipstick there. There is the NARS Star Woman. What are these called? Power Matte Lip Pigment. So another nice red color. I'm sorry that I won't be able to get this to you in time for the holidays for you to wear some of these red colors, but there's always, you know, the 4th of July and next Christmas, so you will have time to wear them then. Uh, there is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Rose Gold. Uh, this is a full-size Benefit Fair Real Mascara. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I think I mentioned this in so part two of the giveaway that I've only partially edited that I was going to put up. Uh, I talked about products I had purchased for the giveaway, like the Juvia's Place palette, and I also have this uh, ColourPop Disney Collection lipstick in Belle. Uh, so I purchased one for myself and I bought a second one to put in the giveaway. I don't know if these are still sold out. Uh, they were at one time, but I know ColourPop's kind of restocked a few times. So anyway, if you either couldn't get your hands on it or didn't want to buy it for yourself, uh, that lipstick is going in. Uh, let's see, a mini Better Than Sex mascara, another e.l.f. brush. This is the Small Tapered brush. I also have a sample of the Benefit Roller Lash mascara. I have some fragrance samples. I have a sample of the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, which is what I use. So there's a little packet for you to try out. Uh, there is a Tarte lipstick, liquid lipstick and lip gloss duo. So there's that. I'm trying to rush here because my battery's gonna die. Uh, what else do we have here? So there is a julep blush. It's called Rosewood. Your happy look pore minimizing blush. There is a bronzer from Rimmel. I have a mini of the Champagne Pop 
highlighter from Becca. There you go. And in the actual bag, everything else was kind of floating around the box, but I will obviously package and pack everything so hopefully it won't break in transit. Uh, let's see, there's a makeup sponge. This one's from Ricky's. Uh, the main attraction, I guess, of this uh, giveaway prize is the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. Uh, if you'll remember, I filmed a Sephora haul probably months ago at this point, but uh, I picked up another one of the Naked Palettes from Urban Decay because it's my first palette, my first high-end palette like most people, and uh, it was kind of a nostalgic thing for me to purchase it and give it to you guys uh, because when I bought that palette, I think I was... I don't know if I'd started my YouTube channel or not, but it was around the same time. Let's see, an eyeliner from Urban Decay, some Living Proof samples, Alterna. Now let's see here. There is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's an OG YouTube favorite. Uh, lots of packet samples here. I have the Encoco Nail Polish applique. Uh, this is the... Uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise in Blackest Black Mascara, a Replica Perfume, let's see, Grande Lips Lip Plumper, a Pure uh, Dual Ended Eyeliner, the Bite Agave Lip Mask, a little sample, and let's see, I have a duo from Redken, their, uh, let's see, Color Extend Magnetics line. So there's that. And then last but certainly not least, I also wanted to include uh, this Stila Color Balm Lipstick, which is in the shade Vivian. And not to make this a huge downer of a video, but um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that um, I had a niece who was born last year who um, sadly passed away um, about 40 days after she was born because she had a... Um, um, congenital disease that, um, you know. Anyway, so um, this is in the shade Vivian um, that I purchased kind of in memory of her. And um, just to kind of bring this video full circle, um, I will show you the ornament of the year from last year. Just right up here. Last year kind of sucked, guys. I'm going to be honest. Um, I lost my aunt, um, my dad's sister in February, and I lost my niece in August. We started off on a high note. Um, my husband and I actually got married in January of last year, so we're coming up... No. Was it last year? Yeah, it was last year, 2017. <laughs> um, so I guess 2019 coming up is going to be our two-year anniversary. So anyway, so this was our ornament from last year. It says forever family has a heart um, to commemorate the uh, new people that joined uh, our family, namely my husband and then um, the family members that we lost. Uh, my husband, or my yeah, my husband also lost his grandmother. I forget what month it was, but uh, she was she was in her 90s, so kind of the same age as my cat and human years in a way. Uh, and of course, I don't think I'd ever met her, so emotionally, um, you know, it wasn't a tough blow, especially since she was in her 90s. But anyway, uh, so that is this really weird video that I just filmed. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I hope you look forward to uh, more videos from me in the future. I'm going to try and get back in the swing of things. Another comment you can leave down below is what types of videos you'd like to see me do or the video that brought you to my channel or your favorite type of video that I do. Anything along those lines would also be a great comment. So uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have a very safe and happy holiday season with your family. And I will announce the winners, I think, on Instagram. I don't think I will film and upload a video especially for that purpose. So uh, again, all the rules will be down below. But uh, I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you soon.